Hello everybody, welcome back to another Retrocade episode. I'm your host, Raging Anybody, here with for Fat Ninja Studios, of course. Uh, we're going to continue playing Mass Effect today. I'm kind of excited. Um, to be honest, I, I really want to play the later games more. Um, don't get me wrong, I love the first Mass Effect and learning everything about the culture, but I must have played it uh, easily. Uh, 30, 40 times through different characters each time um, over the course of the last few years and stuff like that because every time I revisited it um, you know, you always have to start from the beginning if you want to bring your character all the way through so, I don't know I'm super excited oh, looks like we're going to have another issue or I have to eject the disc uh, alright, hold on always fun Also forgot to charge my controller overnight, but I've uh, been charging it for the last hour, so it should be good. Alright, here we go. Citadel doesn't explode just because there's a fire that goes off later on. Obviously, shooting inside the Citadel would set that off, right? Star Wars had people laser blasting each other inside their spaceships, scorching things, and, and the ships didn't just instantly explode because there was a fire. So, it kind of makes me wonder. Weird. I don't get a loading. Like I don't like it. Doesn't ask me if I want to select a different character or anything. It just straight up loads me into my last game. I don't know if I like that. What if I want to have multiple characters? All right. Anyways, last we were playing, we uh, were just setting out into the greater Milky Way galaxy. So let's do this. I noticed yesterday in some of the recordings a little bit of echo, but hopefully it's not too bad. It kind of, kind of works out. Liara first and then they're going to explore the
Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon.
Ichthyosis. She's on one of these planets. But we're gonna start floating out of here. Without using, uh, of course, a uh, guide or anything. Pretty sure that's where she's at. It's not what I'm going to do right Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like it's coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. I mean, as beautiful as some of the stuff was, this game first came out uh, on the Xbox 360. Like, it looked amazing. We had never seen anything this big. And the emphasis on character and the dialogue choices, the combat was kind of fun. You know, nothing really... It's, it's, it's not that it's disappointing. It's that we've come so far in video games. Uh, with especially open world video games, that it feels very desolate.
I cut this out.
To me!
game to see the four of us watching a guy running around with some janky ass fights. Especially in the second game, not the second game. And uh, it was part of the fight on an elevator platform surrounded by like people that switched the four year and the difference is that it's really leveled up in the last year.
I usually use when I'm streaming uh, because you know whatever pr protects my privacy and everything right well they every time I did that they marked me as suspicious activity on my account as if I was doing something illegal that I was trying to hide I, I don't know like whatever like they just marked it as suspicious activity right uh, apparently that I was trying to do something illegal and um, so they, they, I, and I got 10 flags on my account because I've streamed, you know, a few times, right? You're doing that. And uh, basically, they just shut it off and, like, removed it from my, my account, right? And I was like, you can't just do that. First of all, you have to notify me. And secondly, you know, like, you never gave me, like, they never gave me any warnings or nothing, right? And secondly, um, you know, that's not how that works. There's, there, you know what I mean? You can't just say, well, you didn't want to show me what you were doing on the internet, so we're just going to cancel the internet. I'm like, we, I have certain privacy uh, 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 protections, you know what I mean? So, uh, long story short, I disputed it, whatever. Spent like three, four hours on the phone with these guys. On Friday, they reconnected me after that first the first time they told me that this shit was happening, right? I was good for Saturday and Sunday, and then suddenly yesterday, um, it was disconnected again, or Monday or whatever, right? And uh, and I was like, well, what the hell, you know? Uh, I thought we resolved this issue. Well, sorry, they removed it again, and, and they put a ban on your account for a year, no internet for a year. And I was like, are you serious, you know? So I talked to them again, and so they're like, all right, we're going to pass it on to our security team or whatever the hell, and they'll give you a call back in the next 48 hours. And I was like, okay. I was like, is there no way I can speed this up? Because I was like, I, you know, this is my livelihood, right? And they're like, no, blah, 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 we'll try this and that, but nope, sorry, you're going to have to wait. They'll call you back within 48 hours. I was like, okay. They're like, usually they call back pretty quickly. And I was like, okay. Well, it's been over 24 hours. They still haven't called back. So I'm like, okay, if they don't call me back by tomorrow, I'm just gonna cancel whatever, everything from Spectrum, and I'm gonna go with AT&T. They offer fiber out here uh, for one gig internet for 60 bucks a month. So I'm like, I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bullshit, right? Like... I don't think, like, I don't think they would, they would actually care. Yeah, apparently they do. Apparently that you can't, you can't mask what you're doing on the internet. It's because, like, now, uh, ever since that fucking stupid law, uh, where, where, uh, ISPs are allowed to basically police themselves, I guess Spectrum updated it that you, uh, or whatever, that, that if you're, you know, um, I guess what, what happens is what, what the way the guy explained it is, uh, say it, you know, it, it, it tracks your usage, right? Of how much internet you're using, right? And so up until, you know, from, let's say from 12 PM to 2 PM, I was only using a hundred pebbles, right? A hundred megabytes. And then suddenly, at, from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m., I was not—I was using nothing, no internet, right? 
and then after after 6 p.m. suddenly it uploads my usage that I used in the meantime uh, used a thousand megabytes right and they're like well how come you used a thousand megabytes and we couldn't see that you were using a thousand megabytes right why is it doing that well because you know the the VPN was blocking it right uh, and I you know and they can they flag that as suspicious activity that I was apparently I could be pirating I could be uh, 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 hacking, I could be doing whatever, you know, and that's why. Well, maybe this is something new that they're starting to crack down on. I don't know, but it was it's it's horseshit. I tell you that. I am not uh, not a happy camper. I'll Right now I'm recording uh, Mass Effect. They can't see you or nothing, obviously, but they could hear you if they were listening, if this was live. But I'm also going through my my teeth feel weird like they have lines in them. Yeah, I know. Oh, I don't like that. It's 
So I'm doing all my upgrades for my, my pupils real quick. I'll talk to you. Or what? My, my people get their upgrades. I'm leveling up my characters. changed a lot of things on here. Well, not a lot, but like it looks pretty. The HD remaster and everything. Uh, but like the level cap is now 30 instead of 60. You still get the same amount of, of uh, skill points. You just level up faster, I guess, which is weird. Makes it a little bit too easy in a sense. But, um, to rescue Dr. Tassoni.
Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. Are you okay? What happened to you? Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, all right? Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. How did you end up in there? I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth, beyond the veil! I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Please, just get me out of here. No, it's all like super close on my screen. Cause I'm using my phone, so oh. I just see your face. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. <laughs> I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Dun, dun, dun. More shit for me to kill?
did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. We have to get you out of here before more Geth arrive. Yes, you're right. I've seen enough of them to last a lifetime. That button should shut down my containment field. There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. Think fast, Miss Prothean expert. The conduit? But I don't know... Uh -oh. We're what the hell was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker! Get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal! On the double, mister! Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA, eight minutes. He needs to move faster. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Had the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Saren wants her. And he always gets what he wants. Kill him. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. We almost died out there and your pilot is making jokes? Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. 
What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. I've got my own theory on why the Protheans disappeared. With all due respect, Commander, I have heard every theory out there. The problem is finding evidence to support them. The Protheans left remarkably little behind. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines, the Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. Of course, you're right. I am sorry, my scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed.
Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the north. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Say, what time is it? Are you hungry? We could go get some dinner. What? I said, what time is it? If you're still hungry, we can go get some dinner. It's eight. Are there any good places open? One second. 